Well, good morning, everybody. Um, before I get started, I want to show you um, Albert's mom uh, had forgotten it was my birthday, which, you know, is no big deal. I didn't expect anything. And but when she found out yesterday, she wanted to go to the store and she picked me up all sorts of stuff. And it was like so, so nice of her. Um, she got a uh, phone charger cord. It's 10 feet long. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, she picked up this, which I love. It's a mortar and pestle. Used to grind up herbs and stuff and all like that. I love this because I've wanted one of these for a long time. I have a white one, but I always wanted one of the black ones, the black marble ones. And it's so pretty. And, well, I'll save this for later. She got me a pack of cherry gummy bears. And I love gummy bears, especially cherries, my favorite flavor. And she got me a pack of moon pies. Banana. Mm. And she got me some cookies. Now, she got these at a discount store. And I know some of the food there is kind of, you know, pushing its prime a bit. But uh, she picked up some cookies and cherry almond. Like I said, I love cherry stuff. And uh, she also got me a pack of uh, mint patties, cookies. Never had anything like this before. So I figure if they're a little bit hard and stuff, I'll just dip them in my coffee. They'll be just fine. Anyway, um, back to this. And I think his mom might have been telling me something. <laughs> She got me this uh, razor set. And hmm, I can't imagine why. Could she be trying to tell me something? <laughs> anyway, uh, she also got me socks, too. On top of that, she spent... Boy, it had to be about forty dollars worth of stuff, and I was—it was just completely unexpected. But uh, yeah, I thought that was so nice of her. But anyway, now uh, sorry to bore you all with all this. On to those readings. Well, I hope you all are having a a good day so far in your lives. Um, in today's reading, I'm going to try to. Amp it up a little bit and see if we can't try something else. All right. Um, so let's see. I'm shuffling them up. And oops, we'll see how it goes. Kind of butterfingers today, it seems. <laughs> Oh, well, huh, I guess this card wants to be picked. Wow, it is the Nine of Swords. And there you go. Stay up there. I think my uh, microphone might need some Viagra. It's suffering from uh, erectile dysfunction here. <laughs> it just won't stay up. I'm sorry. Anyway, like I said, uh, 
I'm going to try to amp this up a little bit, and uh, you let me know, since this is a trial thing, uh, you let me know what you think, and uh, if this reading might apply to you. And it's, you don't have to be Scorpio. Remember, you don't have to be Scorpio. This can apply to anyone. Okay, what I love about these cards is the symbolism. Okay, um, like behind this woman who's having this nightmare, bad dream, whatever, on the wall is nine swords behind her. On her bed, it depicts a man defeating another man. And I'll try to blow up a bigger picture of this card so it won't be so blurry for you all. And then on her quilt, it depicts various zodiac symbols along with roses. I love the symbology in, in this deck of tarot. It's really quite amazing. Um, anyway, uh, the Nine of Swords is often associated with fear and anxiety and about the things that worry you and keep you up at night. Sometimes this card can be associated with trauma one which may be shameful for you to confide with others about and all the psychological responses that comes from the experiencing that trauma this suit of swords is associated with the mind with logic with intelligence uh communication um but somehow the nine of swords was caught on the destructive end of the mind the one which turns inward on itself multiplies and festers questions are plaguing you and you find yourself reciting all the possibilities all the things that can happen to you you are haunted by what could be there is one sense of repetition within this card that some events which has troubled you before and one which you manage to either repress or want to run away from is coming back again Sharing your grief does at least provide an outlet for your pain and may release you from carrying this burden alone. Is there anyone that you feel comfortable speaking to? In cases where it is less about trauma and more about general anxiety, analyze yourself and think if this is a feeling that is within your control or if there are other factors that can contribute to your anxiety. Concentrate on the manners which, can, which you can control and learn to ask for help. Now, as far as love goes in this card, anxieties and fears can escalate with the Nine of Swords. Some nightmare situations may be keeping you up at night. Oftentimes, this card suggests that fears are not as terrible as they are in your head. You may be struggling with guilt, remorse, insecurity, trusting your partner, or mental health issues. You'll need to understand for yourself whether these feelings are truly rational. Anxiety may be causing you to avoid looking at the problem and facing it head on. But if you took the effort to open your eyes, you may find that you can work through these issues. If you're single, past relationships can be a source of remorse, sadness, and regret. And these feelings must be worked through before going into another relationship. Now, as far as career-wise, this could mean stress and anxiety are the biggest features of your current work, work situation right now. Sometimes this card can also point to paranoia and things are not as really as bad as you believe they are, which can be good news. Regardless of the circumstances, work may feel incredibly overwhelming right now and you may reach burnout if you continue without changing anything. If your stress is due to external factors, you may need to take concrete action, such as searching for somewhere else to work or changing your career path. If your stresses are mostly due to anxiety and mental health issues, you may need to learn how to think more positively. Internal shifts may be needed, and you may benefit from the help of a professional or trusted friend to give you a more objective view of everything. Now, as far as finances, financially, you may be under a lot of pressure and stress right now. The suffering you're feeling is real, 
but the nine of swords often point toward anxiety and worries that come from exaggerating the situation instead of looking at it realistically. If this is the case, your panic may be from your own negative thinking. It may be helpful to enlist an outsider's perspective to give you advice on what you can do. What this card is basically saying, has stress or anxiety been keeping you up at night or maybe you have been having some nightmares? We sometimes see the Nine of Swords as well when someone is spiritually connected and may have nefarious forces plaguing them during the evening hours. The Nine of Swords is a tough card to see in a reading or in your day, but if you are seeing it, the message may come as no surprise to you. You are worried about something or someone and are asking the tarot about something that is causing you intense worry. You may have nightmares about it or could be experiencing insomnia associated with the grief and despair about the situation. But this is also a powerful guilt card. And someone may be up many nights feeling guilty about something they have done to you. The Nine of Swords can also signal a health issue that is plaguing your mind. This card is a sign that you should look into it more. Additionally, mental health issues sound like anxiety or depression may be at play in the situation at hand. It sounds and looks like an ominous card, but the message of the Nine of Swords is that we are nearing the end of this cycle or painful journey. All right. So stick with it. It's coming to an end. It'll soon be over for you, hopefully, in a positive way. All right. This stone. Which I thought was really pretty, too. The way it's layered in there. I'm sorry the lighting and all this is so bad. But I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is um, green quartz. Yes. Um, anyway, green quartz is an amazing healing crystal that can make a big impact on your life. With its strong properties and a meaning that's rooted to the heart, this is a stone that can pretty much help anyone. Green quartz is the most common name for the stone called praseolite. It's a type of quartz that gives inclusions such as chlorite and actinolite. Excuse me, I'm butchering these names. It's the inclusions that give green quartz its beautiful and unique coloration. Other names for this crystal includes green amethyst, lime citrine, and vermarine. The word praseolite comes from the Greek language and roughly translate as scallion collared stone. The stone was used in ancient times as an amulet against negative spirits and its properties are often used today for the same purpose. Green quartz used to be found in many parts of the world in places such as India, Russia, China, and Australia. However, since the 1950s, green quartz has been mostly mined for, in a section of Brazil. And uh, a, also a section of Poland. Um, now, my box, I ordered boxes of, of crystals from both Brazil and from India. And I forget which boxes came out of, but... Uh, it's either Brazilian or Indian green quartz. The main green quartz meaning is centered around the idea of bringing about a more compassionate heart. It's also tied to the pursuit of creative inspiration, a greater sense of intuition, and a higher level of spiritual connection. The lovely green color of this crystal seems to reflect the calming, loving, and enriching nature of this stone. Use green quartz to increase your love for others and for yourself. Feel the sense of confidence and empowerment it brings through its vibrations of emotional and spiritual healing. Now, it's a crystal that anyone on a spiritual path should know about. The healing properties of this stone are known to have 
to have a gentle but powerful ability to impact a person physically, emotionally, spiritually, and metaphysically. It uh, creates an incredible positive atmosphere that lasts all day. It's easy to feel struck sometimes. Maybe you're working on a project that seems to be going nowhere fast, or maybe life has left you listless and low. If this description is hitting home, then it's time to add green quartz to your spiritual practice. It can help boost your mood and help you to see the brighter side of things. Sometimes all it takes is to be able to see situations from a different, more joyful perspective. Green quartz can help you to not overthink situations, to see issues with more clarity. This stone is helpful when it comes to matters of the heart. Use it as a crystal for love to reunite any sparks you may have thought you'd lost forever. You may also find yourself becoming more patient with others and you're with yourself. This can help you to open up yourself to a loving, loving healthier relationships. It's the perfect choice for anyone who's ready to do something about negative energies that are holding them back. Use this crystal in a daily meditation practice and it can help over time to get rid of negative energy and self-destructive thoughts. The meaning and properties of this stone can help you open your mind and increase your intuition. Spiritually, this means you can become more perceptive to negative energy before it gets in your space. It's said that forewarned is forearmed, and this is especially helpful when it comes to meeting negativity head on with a plan of attack. Looking for a creative boost or a path to greater success? Green quartz is considered to be highly effective crystal for creativity. When your creative juices are flowing, you'll gain the confidence and joy it takes to make a success of any project you dare take on. And uh, did you know this crystal can also help with a wide range of physical issues? It's highly prized by practitioners of natural medicine because of its ability to heal a variety of problems associated with both the thymus and thyroid glands. If you suffer from chronic illnesses, such as chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, arthritis, or depression, Green Quartz may be able to help you on your path to wellness and better all-around health. It's also used to help detox the body, boost the immune system, cleanse organs, combat nausea, and help promote healing in the digestive and circulatory systems. And remember when I say about the health benefits, this is not to be substituted for an actual physician's care. Always see your doctor first. Use this as like a supplement, but see your doctor first. Metaphysically, it's an excellent tool for the heart chakra to work. Healing and opening this chakra can send you on the path to greater love for others and for yourself. And it will also awaken and nourish and empathy for those around you. And its meaning may also stir your deeper sense of patience. It's important to stress here that there is no right or wrong way to use this crystal. That's the beauty of it. Just try some of the following methods to see which one resonates at the moment. You can carry it in your left hand pocket or your purse. And going with this method will ensure the uplifting and healing vibrations of this crystal are available at all times and provide you with a constant reminder of its meaning. Another popular way to use a stone is to wear it set into a necklace, pendant, or earrings. Necklaces and pendants will keep your crystal near your heart chakra, and earrings will bring it closer to your third eye or crown chakra. Any way you choose to wear green quartz, you will reap the benefits of auric field cleansing. Lastly, you can place green quartz in any area of your home or office where you need extra creativity, productivity, or prosperity, you and those around you will benefit from this crystal's amazing energies. And now if your, if your, if your signs are Pisces, Libra, or Aries, 
you'll definitely want to tap into a wonderful vibrations of green quartz. Of course, this quartz can be used by anyone, but some zodiac signs just seem to have a stronger resonance with its meaning than others. It's thought to help with anyone born under these signs to enhance their positive traits while working to soothe out less desirable patterns and behaviors. Once again, now let me try to give you one final. Oh, that's a pretty good shot. There, yeah. Very good. So, there you have it. Green Quartz. Check it out and give it a try. All right. You all have an excellent day. Blessed be and peace. Bye-bye.